that. But I do want to bring up yesterday. Yesterday, I think I revealed I'm perhaps a prophet. No. <laughs> yeah, no. I had, yesterday I discussed a dream I had. We brought up the movie Titanic, and I was like, oh, wait, I'm now remembering I had a weird dream about the Titanic. No, I did. Yes, last night I had a dream that I was, a, a, a ship was going down, and I had to put on, I was like, ah, I know what's going to happen. Everyone's going to fucking freeze. So there I am putting on lots and lots of sweatshirts, and I got well, extra socks for the to kids put in my under. pocket. But then we get outside, and I'm like, oh, it's summer. And then I started giving away some sweatshirts to people who felt just a little drafty. Yeah, weird. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That reminds me. We'll get we'll drag the dream, dream journal graphic out of the TriCaster after the show. So strange. Uh, Why did I have that dream? I was I more surprised. You because you'd seen Titanic, you knew exactly what was going to happen on this boat? No, truly. And I'm like, yeah. nobody else knows. We're going down, but I do. <laughs> then I'm looking for stories yesterday to discuss today. And it turns out that there is now... A Titanic tourist submersible, which I guess is a submarine, that has gone missing. No. It's missing. There are a group of people who were traveling down to see the wreckage of the Titanic, and now their vessel is missing. Did I not know, or did I? I didn't know, but maybe my subconscious <laughs> knew. Do you even know what profit means? Much Sounds less segue? Sounds pretty Malaysian, if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, where is this out of? It's not too soon. You can so, see. So, um, okay, this was... Big old Titanic-looking penis. It's a whole bunch of rich people who are missing because yeah. the tour firm Ocean Gate runs a $250,000 a seat expedition. So everyone, I think there were five people on board. They all paid $250,000 for their seat. Um, it's an eight-day trip that leaves from St. John's in Newfoundland, which is 370 miles from the wreckage site. Each full dive to the wreck, including descent and ascent, reportedly takes around eight hours. So I think it was as of Sunday they lost contact with the vessel. Um, there's only... I think uh, as of now, maybe 48 hours of air left. This so is they a are, horror movie. There are a bunch of, um, what do you call them, like search and, not rescue. search and seizure, seizure, <gasps> yes. The search and rescue teams out trying to find them. But the other interesting thing, I don't know if it's on here, if I read it somewhere else. Look at this guy, he, he, he moves the thing with an old uh, an Xbox controller. Logitech controller. Yeah. <laughs> Not even original Xbox, it's the bootleg company. Oh my God, I saw this guy on CBS Sunday morning. It looks like the most uncomfortable, scary hunk of junk ever to see the Titanic. This is bizarre. Also, it turned out, like, in another trip, they lost contact again. Like, this is not the first time this has happened, that they've lost contact. There was some technical issue, but then they managed to... They got lost as a result, but they managed to find their way back. I don't know if that's happened again. Personally, if I were a tourist and I knew that that happened to this company, yeah. I would say... I'll go, but I'm only paying two hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you were gonna go a different you way know, there. No, you should get money off if you know there's a risk of yeah. being trapped under the wall. Also, if you are even remotely, um, if you, if you even remotely have a, a, an issue with enclosed spaces, particularly one with a porthole that small, that's a big yeah. issue because uh, you're down there for a while. Yeah. And Forget if you're about down being there in middle seat days, in an airplane. Where are you pooping? There is that's a device. That's gonna stink. Uh, yeah, it would. I guess you well, just, like, yeah. <laughs> it's probably a hole, and you can just put all the shit into the water. Hey, explain it. Of course, I forgot. Yeah. I should have looked for the video of now, this on CBS. if you had all the money in the world, Kate, is this yeah. something you would do, or would you rather go to space? Like, what would be your guilty pleasure? Outer space. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to go to outer space. I, I just wouldn't need more space. I don't think I'm, I think that I'm, I know how you can get allergies in late in life. I feel like I'm late in life claustrophobic. I couldn't handle that. Yeah. That's rough stuff. And also, like, um, how, do, like, how do they not have a tracking device? Even if you've lost radio yeah. power, how is there not something there yeah. to make it easier for people to find you if you only have 48 hours worth of air? Or don't you know, like, where up is? At least just go up. Who's right? driving this machine? The same guy that is. Oh, a the video Xbox, gamer. Guy. Yes. Yeah. Xbox guy. Yeah, Xbox guy. Hey, guess what? Apparently, this isn't a video game. 
Yeah. Real lives are at stake. Yeah. Well, totally. the reason they're using that is it's a one of a kind device. And as a result, if they are stuck on the bottom, there isn't a rescue submarine of any type that can get to them. So, like, their uh, only hope is communicating and finding them, like, get something up so we can find you if you can get to the surface. Oh, wow. So, so they're fucked. Yeah. They're saying there's a good chance they smashed something and it was instantaneous with all the pressure. And, like, that's why they haven't gotten any contact. But oh, if no. not, there's no hope of getting them out other than them figuring something on the sub. Okay, per when they went down, has it been 48 hours now? Because then we'll know whether or not they're alive or not. Yeah, they're probably dead. Well, they originally had like 120 hours of oxygen. They're down, I thought. Yeah. I think today they were down to 24. Yeah. Oh boy, what a way to go. The only I, real chance, because I, I was reading about this too, the only real chance that they survived, other than, you know, is that there's like some ballast system, there's like an emergency escape. That, uh, you know, you hit a button and then like an air thing opens up and it sends the submersible to the surface. So hopefully they're just floating around somewhere and their, you know, communications are broken and they're just waiting for someone to find them. Most likely they are on the bottom of the ocean and they're probably already incapacitated. Although for a true Titanic fan, yeah. that might be the way you want to go. <laughs> to join the wreckage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose so. You're yeah. Jack. Um... And the violinist, I suppose. Wow, what a way to go! I would, boy, I, I would. My hope for them is that they died instantaneously. Yeah, I know. Just sitting there. Yeah. yeah. Smelling your own. Well, smell. and that is the thing. I think that is a fear of mine about going yeah. to space. Mm -hmm. Is the idea that you're still kind of a guinea pig because yeah, there haven't been that many expeditions to outer yeah. space, especially for civilians. Yeah. But. Most likely, if you're to die, you are going instantaneously. Yeah. I feel like space is kind of better because it's just like a rocket and you go up and then you go down. The ocean, you're going to have to kind of explore to get there. Mm. It's, it's yeah. A very long time. The ocean's insane. And, like, yeah. it, the, and from what I recall of when they first profiled this guy on CBS Sunday was uh, that even though it seems very expensive, it would have been 10 times more expensive if he didn't use all these bare bones bullshit to yeah. make this fucking floating refrigerator. Uh, you know, the Xbox thing included. Got a floating refrigerator. That's what it looks like to me, and that's I would so not funny. like it. I, it's, boy, that's just... I also would have to say that in the 21st century, how do we not have a device relatively inexpensive that could take a bunch of people down to the Titanic? That doesn't seem to me like yeah. such a hard sell. It's weird that we're resulting on that, that we're relying on that, that piece of shit. Well, maybe oxygen is expensive. I don't know. Have you ever bought any? No. Just whippets. Got me. <laughs> yeah. Actually, come to think of it. <laughs> yeah. 